so we have the devotional for today today's july 27th this is the devotional that i'm reading here i don't know if you can uh, see it but um let's go ahead and pray uh so let's go ahead and pray dear Heavenly father thank you for this day thank you for your sabbath uh please help me understand your word please keep us safe today and be with everybody um and the world uh with whatever problems they have Please be with everybody. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. So the title is The Heart Surgeon. God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 8. Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful uh, uh, verse there. Grace is God as heart surgeon. Cracking open your chest, removing your heart, poisoned as it is with pride and pain, and replacing it with his own. Rather than tell you to change, he creates the change. Do you clean up so he can accept you? No, he accepts you and begins cleaning you up. His dream isn't just to get you into heaven, but to get heaven into you. What a difference this makes. Can't forgive your enemy? can't face tomorrow can't forgive your past christ can and he is on the move aggressively budging you from graceless to grace shaping living the gift giving giving gifts forgive uh, forgiven people forgiving people deep sigh of relief stumbles of plenty but despair seldom grace is everything jesus Grace lives because he does, works because he works, and matters because he matters. He placed a term limit on sin and danced a victory jig in a graveyard. To be saved by his grace is to be saved by him, not by an idea, doctrine, uh, doctrine, creed, or church membership by Jesus himself, who will sweep into heaven anyone who is as much... Wait, hold on. Who... Who will sweep into heaven anyone who is so much as gives him the nod. Grace. Interesting uh, devotional today. Um, as, as humans, we, we're just not good people. Let's just put it like that. We're not good people at all. Without Jesus, we cannot do anything good. And... With with without him, there's we we can't forgive, we can't uh, we can't change. Um, I know a lot of people go through a lot of different scenarios in their lives where, you know, people betray them, people um, just do them bad, and God tells us to forgive them because it's not only for. It, it, it's not only something that you have to do as, you know, obeying God's word, but it also benefits you. Whenever you forgive somebody, uh, you take that off your plate and it makes you feel better. If you start, you know, hating someone, uh, it's only going to to um, create problems for you. And uh, the devotional is saying that God you know, creates the change in you because by, by ourselves, we just can't. So what I'm starting to do now is I'm actually, whenever I do my, my prayers, I, I ask God to, to change me because man, humanly and, and, and our human ways, it's just, it's hard. It's hard to change. There's so many distractions out there nowadays. I mean, the world is, is, is chaos right now. There's so many things that are, um, becoming just normal when it when it when it shouldn't be so i ask i ask god for for wisdom i ask god for for change that i need in my life because i need to change myself so i can show christ to others um i'm not perfect and in, in any kind of way but i have a perfect god and uh you know anybody that's that's watching these kind of videos Always remember, don't 
put your faith on humans. Humans can can fail anytime. Put your faith in God. Anytime you see somebody failing and you think he's a Christian, don't don't worry about that. They have their own struggles with 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 uh, with with their life. Always look up to Jesus. No matter if somebody has been a Christian all their life and they fail, that doesn't mean God is not there. You always have to look at Jesus. Always have to look up at God because everybody can fail here in the world. Everybody can fail. All right. The only person who doesn't fail us is God. So always keep remember keep that in mind. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.